Hey y'all, I'm Kim. This is Princess. Hey, I'm Daryl. We're some days here and we've been challenged. Mike and Heidi from RV Daydream have challenged us to do the 10 questions about your RV. So we're here to do them now. So I'm sure everybody out there in YouTube land really wants to know <laughs> what our 10 answers are going to be. They probably do. So, so let's jump into it. Stay, ah, stay tuned. Be right back. Okay, so every now and then these 10 questions come up and this time it's a little bit different. So Heidi, Mike, here we go. <laughs> the first question is, what would, you what would you change in your RV? Okay, we have a 2011 Landmark uh, Heartland uh, San Antonio version, four slide, beautiful RV. You can go back and look at some of our old videos. Kim went in there and redid the whole inside. She painted a lot of stuff. It's uh, been had a lot of really good compliments on it. Uh, what I would change in that RV uh, myself, uh, I would change nothing. I wouldn't either. I actually cannot think. We, we sat here and tried to think of something we would change and I could not think of one thing I would change in that RV. We we already changed it to our liking it, from the stock version of it. We went in and redid the valances, the, the, the flooring in some places. We did uh, uh, the valances. We repainted a lot of stuff. So to, to be that, honest with you, didn't change can't anything. change nothing. All right, number two. What is something you didn't expect with your RV? I didn't expect that this fifth wheel, being all over 41 feet long, would pull so easily going up and down the road. We came out of a Class A uh, RV where it's kind of sometimes white knuckling, everything's kind of moving you around. I got in this thing pulled by our, our Chevy uh, three, uh, one ton dually, and man, it was just night and day. I'd get, after driving during the day, to the campsite, and I'd be relaxed. I wouldn't be just so overwhelmed and tired. tired so. That was a big surprise to me. And me, I would say just the comfortableness in it. I mean, it's very comfortable and roomy in that RV. Yep, lots of room in this one compared to our uh, two slide uh, Class A that we had. So it was definitely a good upgrade for us. Deciding factor on finding your RV. Price. Hmm. <laughs> Price was one. We got a good deal on this one availability we were in the market we were ready to go yeah. to get a new one uh, so it was price and availability and I guess the layout of what we actually wanted and we were going with used we weren't buying new so that's right we you know you're kind of limited when you're when you're going with used and I mean when we walked into it it was between this one and an open road mm -hmm. and it was perfect open range or open road open what was an open road maybe um, it's open range I don't know um, favorite meal to cook at camp mine is a smash burger on the blackstone i love my blackstone that's pretty good but i like to cook a nice big steak you on know, the weber on the weber grill <laughs> so steak for me but smash i'll do burger? smash burgers anytime she wants to cook them that's right um rv destination where you want wait a minute RV destination you want to go to? RV destination. Boy, we've been a lot of fantastic places. But we haven't been I know, to the Keys. <laughs> yeah. The Keys is, is going to be on... It's uh, on the list. It's on the list that we're going to do. Uh, we just got to figure in how we're going to do it. But I also want to do uh, Alaska. I want to take the RV up to Alaska and do two to three months up there just to get just go up there and do it. We've been to Alaska on a cruise. It was fantastic. Enjoyed all the great uh, cities up there but I sure would like to go up there and uh, and stay up there for two or three months go uh, like some of the people have done I've seen the videos some fantastic videos and I'd like to experience it firsthand because most of you know the camera doesn't do justice no matter how good a camera you got I want to go see it personally and I want to see the northern lights 
Me too. All right, the least favorite thing about our van. I would have to say it's the summer and the heat and packing up to leave yep. a spot. I don't, we don't like to do heat. We try to chase 70 as best we can, but sometimes there's just nothing you can do about it. Uh, even in some of the ideal areas, you can be normal temperature, like we spent a lot of stuff up in Spokane, uh, uh, Coeur d'Alene area, up in the northwest during the summers, but it, a couple summers it can get up to 95, yeah. and when you're in an RV, we all know that RVs get hot, hot, and I don't care that <laughs> there's not enough air conditioning in them to keep them cool, but as long as we can stay out of the humidity, we'll be fine, but it's definitely not dealing with the heat inside an RV. Number eight, must-haves on your next RV. Actually, Maddie has any and everything that we want as far as being made with it. You said you wanted I, th I, I would like, uh, it, it says it has satellite coiled up in the roof somewhere and I've seen the diagrams, but I'm just afraid to cut in the roof to be able to put on my satellite up there because if it's not there, then I've got a hole in the roof. I would like to see uh, maybe security system built in uh, to the RV so we can see, uh, you know, inside the RV and outside the RV when we're not there. And we know we, we can, can up them. upgrade, but that, I, I think that needs to be start coming some of the factory need to start coming out with some of that stuff with the rigs and maybe they do because I haven't been in any of the new ones. All right, your favorite beverage. Coke Zero for me and I have been known to get a handle on it and uh, <laughs> do a, a crown on the rocks. And me, I would have to say probably a Coke or a root beer and everyone knows I love my wine so that would be me. <laughs> and the last thing, your favorite RV accessory. Wow, favorite RV accessory. Favorite RV accessory. Well, that mine would have to be my, my, well, it's not really an accessory it's because it was done in it, would be my convection oven. Yeah. That's one of my favorite things. Yeah. And, and AC. <laughs> yeah. Mine would be uh, my dish TV. I love my dish TV. It's it's mounted up on top where we can uh, uh, watch our satellite TV. That's pretty well a must for me because I love my TV. Uh, maybe one of the accessories for you would be your maybe your Instapot too. Well, that but I really like the Blackstone. Yeah, the Blackstone. The Blackstone. Good too. We got a lot of accessories. Yeah. We'll show you those coming up in some future videos. And we just purchased the Weber little grill, and I love that. That thing's really nice. And yep. Daryl's I mean, actually been doing most of the grilling, which I normally do that. Yep. He's been doing it, though. But that's it. So now we have to nominate some people. Oh, Lord. Patrick. Patrick with the <laughs> paddy wagon. Paddy wagon travels. Oh, that's right. Paddy wagon travels. Patrick puts out a lot of great videos. He's getting back in the swing of things. He's a hardworking man. Uh, how about Tim Rover? Yep. Tim shows you a lot of good tricks and hacks that you can do with an RV. Great and he's guy. He's fixing to be on the road too. Yep. Um, camping with the Kellys, Jason yep. and Kelly. Jason. Candace. I'm Jason and Candace. Kelly. Yep. They're great people. <laughs> they travel. They've got them a, a new rig. They've got them a razor. They've been all over the United States. It's beautiful. Put out some very good videos. Uh, how about RJ's Adventures? Adventures. Yeah. Yep. So that's going to be who we're going to challenge. So we're challenging you five to, to take on the challenge and uh, tell us what your top ten things are with your RV. So until the next time. That's it, folks. Stop the madness. <laughs> Start the adventure. We'll see you next time. Have a good one.